You want to review, bros? What's going on, YouTube? Simon CK here. Just had about three hours of sleep, and it is the final day of my cut today. So I'm just about to go down and get a DEXA scan right now, so I'll just go weigh myself and I'll head over there. Seventy four point eight. How did they do it? Did it, 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 body scan, elite sports science. Fuck. I want this shoulders like a millimetre to the left, really small chuck off and hips the same. You can be lean yet. Now hold your hand flat, just uh, yep. Or you stuck down there, okay? Pinky and thumb in that holds out where it should be. Okay. I'm <laughs> Hold that spot, we'll get you going. There you go, hold well on. <clears throat> Back at home now, got my results, let's have a look. Body scan, tracking changes in fat and muscle mass. Well, not really, more like tracking cha changes in fat mass, bone mass, and lean body mass, which is everything else. Uh, the scan isn't able to separate muscle from water, organs, food, poo. These are my results here. So 20th of December, so this is my third scan I've had with them. Slightly more bone mass. Uh, lean mass is down, obviously. And fat mass is down to 5.868. So 7.75% body fat. Keep in mind I'm very depleted at the moment, so I could have easily carved up yesterday, drank a bit of water this morning, and had my lean mass 2 or 3 kilos heavier with my fat mass exactly the same, which would have made my body fat percentage a fair bit lower. But I decided to do it in the most depleted state because I thought this would be the most uh, reproducible results and uh, be better to compare to in the future. And it would pretty much just be bullshit if I just carved up yesterday or drank a lot of water this morning or whatever. So I decided to do it fairly dehydrated. So yeah, um, you get a comparison here. For fat free mass, excellent and acceptable range. So I'm in the excellent range there. Fat mass, I'm less than the excellent range. And classification based on fat mass. Uh, it gives you an average daily energy balance, it's probably not that accurate, but it reckons I was in a 262 calorie deficit average per day. Um, I'd say it was a little bit more than that. So yeah, here you get the um, you get an actual picture. So the red's the muscle, the blue's the bone, and the yellow's the fat. You can't really see any yellow when you when you're below ten percent. So it breaks down the results into each region of your body. Uh, as you can see, the 
the head has a lot of fat. It's a kilo of fat in your head, which is a your brain's very fatty. Uh, it separates it into fat mass, lean plus bone, which is useful, and also total mass, and also the body fat percentage for each area. So uh, the leanest area here is my trunk, which was six percent. And here we've got some more little measurements. And again, more breakdown of the uh, regions of the body. And the uh, final page has to do with, uh, with bone density. So, um, so it gives you bone area, uh, the uh, bone weight, and then the uh, bone mineral density. So I've got 1.357 grams per centimeter squared and it gives you a z-score. So your z-score is how many standard deviations you are ahead of the uh, of the norm. So that's 1.6. So 1.6 standard deviations will... 1, one, one is 68% um, I think and 2 is 95% maybe. So I'm ahead of probably about 90% of the population. Uh, for my age group also, it's standardized for age, so bone mineral density is pretty high there. Alright, so that, that's it, that's what you get. Um, so I think this is a pretty good tool. Um, it actually, a DEXA scan, it uses um, x-ray technology, so it's medical imaging, it's very accurate. Plus or minus 1, 1 1.5% at most. Um, as you can see, it says my weight here is 75.714 kilos, but I did weigh myself on my calibrated scales, which cost me about 300 bucks before, at 74.65. So, um, DEXA scan doesn't actually measure weight, it measures density. So, but based on this, um, I'm actually a little bit more dense than, I sh than the machine would guess I'd be, because it thinks I weigh more than I do. But um, overall, it's pretty accurate. So yeah, that's it. End of cut, 7.75%, probably could be low 7s if I drank a bit of water or carved up the day before, but pretty happy with the result.